Hi, it's Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Kosman. And we're here with dentist Dr. Long Vo, following up on the interview that we just had that I thought was terrific with you and your wife, Dr. Dentist, Dr. Julie Dow, about your practice and your thoughts for it and the growth and how you spend time with children and how children are so important. Let's talk now from a marketing standpoint. Clearly, we are marketers, as you know, because we work very closely with you as well. So let's go back a little bit in our history. How did you first find out about us? Because there are lessons all the way along here for other dentists and everybody else that does marketing. How did you hear about us, find out about us? Um, I was looking to um, improve my practice. Uh, so I was looking online, reading blogs. Um, and then I read one of your comments, with, which made a lot of sense to me. So I'm on somebody else's blog leaving a comment. And you yes. read this. Yep. Yes. Uh, and there was your website. or like a link. So there's a link under the con. He's clever that, right? So you can click on that to go to our website. It's important for everybody to know that. Okay. And then what did you do? And once, once I was on it, um, I, I read your stuff and, and I thought it, it made total sense. And then I decided to uh, give my email and, and go on your mailing list. So it was interesting for us because we saw him come onto the site because if you really use your own website the way you could and should, you know who's on your website. You know who's come and left an address. And then we saw this guy that we didn't know who it was start to buy up a lot of our products. And we said he must have some interest. Yes. Right? yes. Yeah. So then you found out about us and we contacted you. Yes. Where did we go from there? Um, Actually, no, before we jump ahead. in, I, I'm going to just jump in here and say, you know, let's, let's make this a teachable moment as well for everyone in terms of how they want to arrange their marketing. So that first, we always teach three main goals in yes. terms of, of marketing. And so the first one of you finding Charlie because he's commenting on blogs, well, it's clearly about get found online, get easily found. So one. it's about creating strategic parts of your marketing that make you easily found online. Then Long, you just said, entering your information, getting on our mailing list. Well, that is actually the third of the three is follow up. Uh, you know, and have a system in place that's automated that allows people to find you and then, you know, s submit their information, say, yes, I want to know more, uh, and follow up. And then the in-between, we'll get to that at the moment, you know, next here, is, is about building the relationship. So. Yes. so we then contacted you at that point, right? Yes. You laid out a little bit about what you wanted to do here, and where did we go from there? Um, and then we, um, we met up, um, and uh, like, I think we had a phone uh, we did, right, we had a conference first. phone. Yeah. Yes, uh, just to make sure, I, I guess you wanted to know if I was a um, potential client that, that would really be interested or simply just uh, looking for a little bit of information. I think part of what we do from a marketing standpoint too is that we want to make sure that we're compatible, that we're right yes. for you, because why go down the path and find out that that isn't the case? Not only are you serious or you knowledgeable, well, you were very knowledgeable. You knew it. So we weren't trying to teach him about marketing, we were trying to say, how do we then do what we do best to help you because you understood that already. Yes. Okay. Uh, for me, I, um, I sort of understood what I wanted, but for sure I didn't have time or the expertise to do it. But I, I knew that uh, I needed experts to, to work with me. Okay, so we have those three main things. And then we came up here the first time for a couple days, and we really did, first we had done an assessment. Because we right. have four phases of what we're doing. Right. So we talk about having three overall themes or strategic goals in the marketing. In terms of the process, we have four phases that we take a client through. Assess, define, create, and monitor. So when we came up, we kind of combined two simply because we were traveling a distance coming up here to Toronto, doing some international work. And yes. uh, so we decided to do assess and define together with you. So assess is about really looking at, well, what do you look like right now? What are we starting? What's the starting place? It'd be very much like one of your patients coming here for the first time and you're going to you know, take some information, take a history, and get a sense of, all right, what do we need to do here? Do you have cavities? Do you not have cavities? Well, we kind of look at your online presence right off the bat and look at where you might have gaps in that presence and figure out where do we need to strategically start filling in and getting your, your presence more visible. And then define, you know, what do we do with define? Yes, well... You had a whole long form to fill out. I don't know whether you thought these were crazy guys. That make and we sent you our defined questionnaire. Yes. Right? And then when we got up here, we reviewed that, didn't we? Yes. Did you find it helpful yourself just to go through that? Would it make you think more? Absolutely, because um, I think your questionnaire 
really tried to pull out my brand, which I didn't know back then. Uh, to me, it was just let's get straight to the marketing, right? and, mm-hmm. and that was my um, idea of marketing. And uh, I, I had no concept of what a brand was. Uh, and after um, reading these questions, I'm like, you know, that makes more sense, and I think it, it makes things much easier. So we went through all of that, and then we got to the third step, and that's the create. Well, but before we even get to create, I think you just raised a really important point that uh, is true of so many people. When they, they think about marketing their business, they really do jump to create too yes. quickly. Yeah. Because when we think about marketing, we don't have a most professionals don't have a background. You know, in dental school, there's probably not a single course not in the business of dental practice. So, you know, most people, when they start trying to think about marketing, they start thinking about tools because that's what they can see in the marketplace of marketing. Think, okay, website, uh, mailing, business cards, stationery, logo. But really, those are not strategies. And so that whole define phase is about wait, taking a step back and say, wait, we'll get to the tools, but we need the strategy. We need the vision. We need the brand. Uh, we need to know what's going to set you apart so that you're not just doing what every other dentist is doing. We don't even want you to compete with any other dentist in the long run. We want to create the unique thing that involves the dental ducky and all kinds of other little things that is just about your practice and about your personality and you know the, the, you know, the team that you're working with, working as a husband and wife team as well. Uh, all of that makes you unique. So the defined phase is looking at all of those factors. You know, we actually came up here and Charlie uh, played mystery shopper, going to all the other dental practices. See what some of the other competition was doing. See how so we learn. I don't want to copy them. We don't want to be the same as them and a little bit better, a little bit faster, a little bit cheaper. We certainly don't want to do that. So we want to. So that's why see what was right. here, and that's why we say the define phase is actually the most critical phase, and it's the one that most people skip over because it creates the blueprint of what you're going to create, and then use tools to kind of disseminate. So one of the things that you have is a website. But this doesn't look like every other dentist website. Gee, we're getting that point across. It shouldn't look like right cookie cutter. You have a lot of content on there, yes. and you're about to also announce uh, the two by four early prevention dental health program. All that will come out of there, and your philosophy is just to share information. Yes, I think that um, with dentists we used to be trusted more. Now it's you know things have changed, right? And people don't trust as much. And I felt that um, I was spending a lot of money marketing, bringing strangers to the office and then spending the energy and, and the money to, to turn them into fans or, or friends. Um, and now it's the opposite. Now it's like with, with the internet, you build that relationship outside of the office where things are, are done automatically. Right. Um, and they only come in if they decide they like it. Yes. And that way it's good for them that they don't have to put any money out of their pocket to find out that they're not compatible and it works for us that now we can spend our, our energy and our money given giving them that service and the quality dentistry that they're they are willing to pay for so I think doing things in reverse makes much more sense absolutely and you raise another great point which is that you know people can have as professionals any profession but dentists doctors I mean can have great people skills yes. but you only get to use those people's skills in general when people come through your door and you have that first consultation and in many ways that's too late right so you're right. absolutely forward thinking and saying no I've got to actually bring myself out to where they are where they're searching and trying to get the information on the web so that I'm engaging with them where they are searching in a sense you are now using these uh, internet tools to be able to be in everyone's home and everyone's office through their computer and build that relationship before they arrive at anyone's consulting room. Otherwise, you know. And it's not even about the skills. Exactly. Because, um, you know, I, I don't claim to be better than anybody. Um, I think we after, have seen in some though, of things. Though we know are, that you are. But other than that, go ahead. ahead. Be modest. <laughs> but after five years of dentistry, I think you could say that every pra- practitioner is at is, least proficient, is qualified, right? Yeah. right? Uh, so what uh, makes a, a patient choose a dentist is really the personality and mm-hmm. if they like the person, if they think that that person cares for me. Um, and that's way more important than the clinical skills. So a, a lot of dentists, the way they market is, oh, I, I have this equipment, I can do this, I've taken this course. But then they come in and then they don't connect uh, on an emotional level. Mm-hmm. So then the patients, you know, they, they're upset that they put out the money to for this exam and then they're not compatible. Yeah, well, and it's interesting, you, you seem very comfortable with video. Yes. 
We even got Dr. Julie to be pretty comfortable with right. video and appearing on video. Your children have been in some of these so that people can look at you and say, he's a really nice guy, he's a family guy too, I've got children, I'm going to trust my children to a guy who treats his children like this. So that's really been part of your plan, the way you right. put the marketing out. Yes, and it's much easier for me. I don't, I don't need to be somebody I'm not. So, right. I mean, and that's, that, the, that's the yeah. secret is that you're not pretending, you're not acting on camera, you're simply being yourself and showing that because that's the personality you're going to actually yes. interact with your patients. And with. I want patients who appreciate who I am so that I don't have to put a different a mask on every time there's a... Well, you do thing. actually put a mask on, but not a different mask. kind of mask. But you're right. I mean, it would backfire. If you, were, if you were actually a good actor in your marketing, it would backfire because you'd attract a lot of people to your door, but then if they didn't actually find the person that you pretended to be there, they'd leave. They wouldn't become your right. patient. So we want you to attract the ideal patient yes. for your practice and for your personality so that they already know that before they come through the door. Again, those three main themes, get found easily online, engage with your audience where they are and where they're searching, and then follow up and build the relationship. And that's exactly what you've been doing all along here. So the website, people can go and leave comments, and we certainly always appreciate when somebody does. You're following up on that. We have people leaving notes for us. They can call in here. They can get appointments directly. All right, so we've been holding these. Well, this is part of now the create phase of creating the content. It is part of the creating, but it's also in that relationship building for children. They feel comfortable. We witnessed a, a procedure where the young girl, she was a teenage girl, 16 years old, and she's holding on. These are not just for little children. She's holding Very comfortable. this. Comfortable. I'm enjoying time. holding this, right? this little rubber deck so right now. You're able to have fun. You're able to get to a child's level, not talk down to them, be right there with them. Know that the rubber ducky is important in what you're doing and the way you present yourself, right? So now we have gotten found online, right? We have built a relationship with people through the camera before they come. So when they come through the door, they know that they already want to work with you. Right. And then we do the follow-up and what's going on here, just as you're doing as a dentist, because you're going to sign somebody up to come back in four months or six months to follow up on the procedure here. So. What else about marketing? Anything last little tidbit that you want to pass on here about how it's working well for you and why this is a good way for you to operate your business? Um, and like I said, it's it's really effortless effortless for me. Uh, we, we just make a video of, of basically who we are and what type of patients we're looking for, and then the rest, whoever comes in, are the people we enjoy working with. Uh, and it's been working. We we had a, a patient come in who's um, uh, everyone said his child needed uh, sedation, and he didn't want that, and and, and that's me. I don't that's want that for my yeah, and that's that's not what I want for my kids. So when he came in, um, I didn't need to sell him anything. Right. He was already sold. He he's he's like Doctor Bull. You know, I totally understand how you work, and you know whatever you say works for me. Let's go ahead. And then it was very pleasant to work with, um, and for me, it's it's just like it was effortless. It was just I I'm. I can focus on the dentistry mm -hmm. and not worry about the business side of it because it was already taken care of. Right. Well, so, and it was interesting yeah. for us because when he first met us and we were talking to him, he said, I don't want you to sell me anything. I'm already sold on platinum. I want platinum. Right. Because, yeah. you, yes. because of what we were doing, which is the same thing you do, we let you in. We shared what we were doing the way you do and you can bring people in. So drop by visit, come online, see what's going on, get your own little rubber ducky, come in here. You've had a lot of ways of, in the area where you are, of communicating with the other stores that are around, the other businesses, the people that come by. So keep checking out, keep seeing the blog that is here. You're going to get great information here, right through there, something that's really going to appeal to you. So we appreciate your spending time on this and talking about the marketing. This is Charlie Seymour, Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Cosman. And thanks very much, and thanks to Dr. Long.